Welcome and welcome back. Thank you so much for being there with us for so many and so long years. This is a very special episode of Talent Hunt that we are trying to do for all of you because we're all at home and we're trying our best to keep ourselves entertained. And that is the main reason that tonight we are here together with your favorite personality around you. I want to introduce, you know, like uh, in our uh, previous episodes, you have seen the musician, you have seen uh, instrumentalists, you have seen um, actors, but and also dancers. But this is something very special. And I thought that why not? Let's talk something about art. What is art? I mean, I'm not talking about only the performing arts, but this is something that I really want to let you guys know that this is the art that we're talking about is mostly what we do or what we use um, to take out our creativity with uh, the brush and the paint and of course the canvas. For tonight's rock and bowl, the rocking star and our rocking guest tonight is Nitu and I would love to welcome her for our Talent Hunt special episode, Rock and Ball. Hello everyone, I am Nitu and I'm a self-taught Indian artist based in New Jersey. Well, my artwork is primarily centered around contemporary and abstract. I must say that from childhood, I've been very attracted toward bold and vibrant color that well, you can find in my artwork also. Since I'm a mother of two kids, I feel very lucky that I can balance my time between my profession and my family. The challenges are really high this time, isn't it? Um, I'm really happy to hear it from Nitya that you are a mom of two and I know that you are too busy. So how you are um, really um, helping uh, all of your family and your household during uh, this severe time? Oh, yes, Ragini. It's undoubtedly a very tough time for everybody. We all are dealing with new challenges and stress. So we, we should not be forget that we need to gentle with ourselves. You know, Ralni, that I believe our mind is a powerful tool. And we can choose where to direct to make our life more relaxed. And like, a, and for me, like painting helped me to get distracted from all these problems and make me calm. And you know, online classes I'm taking these days play a very important role for me to keep going. Well, painting for me is a way that allow an individual a chance to express feeling and emotions without saying a single word. It can be tough sometime opening up but it's a great way to release in our thoughts. You know, Ragni, during this lockdown, the best thing, I learned to stay positive and there is no time for anything. Just do it when you think it is right. I never thought I would start my YouTube channel and take online art tutorial classes. It had given me a chance to take my passion to another level. Love to hear from you about your motivation, Nitya. I developed interest in painting during my school days. I remember spending endless hours drawing small, small objects. I still remember participating at inter-school art competitions. And I seriously say I love those times spending like drawing arts. I continued to pursue this passion during college but my interest and my attention was not totally dedicated towards art. Even I never thought like I can consider my passion as my career too. No, Ragni, painting is not my first profession. I prosecuted fashion designing as a career. And I worked in that field for six years. There was a creativity but very limited. I cannot compare that with this, what I'm doing today. After those six years, I got married and moved to USA. I dedicated like my complete time to my family. Now my younger one started school, so I got back into action. 
And this time, with my husband's support, I decided to pursue my passion as my career. And I'm glad that I did, because now I have a vision and a set of goals in my life. I always make my to-do list, considering a very special thought in my mind. Life is short, live your dream, and share your passion. I was always attracted towards art. I, I, I really can't say why. Okay, and you ask me who motivated me to pursue this passion. He, like my husband is the person who motivate me and who always support me to do what actually I want to do. And most importantly, I should also mention that all this could not be possible without the support of my family and my close friends. You know, it's really easy to make a decision sitting on a couch. Okay, I want to make painting, I want to pursue my passion. But actually executing all these things in the right direction with the same level of motivation every time is very important. And for this, especially thank to my friends, or very close friends, who are always here to support me. When you paint or when you uh, showcase your painting, so what are the subjects that you are quite interested in and what do you showcase them? Thank you, Ragni, for asking me this question. My artwork is primarily been centered around spiritual, Indian religion, animals and nature. I think my life experiences are directly correlated to my art. I exhibited my art in Hindi Mahatsav, Indo-American Fair, Indo-American Community and Health Fairs. The different medium I use in my art are the oil paints, acrylic paints, granite, charcoal, oil pastels. Currently, you know, I'm using a lot of the granite and charcoal, which I probably you will see in my next exhibition. This is a quite interesting part that I want to talk to you because um, everybody, um, everyone, uh, we all have our own personal favorites and you have done so much, though you are self-taught and that is quite surprising the way you use um, your paint and brushes and uh, it's kind of really awesome. But uh, how, uh, I can say that, how you can describe that which one is your favorite if I ask you so that uh, you have painted for all these years? I would say Ganpati's are my favorite painting. I really really enjoy doing that. I don't know if I can explain but I'm, when I'm making a Ganpati painting all the times it goes with such a flow and I think I should say there was a divine power that unfold the step forward and always turn out beyond my expectations. You know, this is the first painting. I make Ganpati. When I start my business, I take my passion as my career. This is the first painting I make. And this is going to be really close to my heart. Okay, and this is the one more painting I have in my studio I would love to show. This is also turned out so beautifully. It's like a masterpiece. It's still with me. And other most of the painting, I love to show all the Ganpatis, but it's already sold out. Some are on the commission arts. You can check under my profile. But every time when I will make a Ganpati paintings, it's look so 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 beautiful. And you know, as the Indian mythology, we always say when we start something new, any business, anything, we worship the god Ganesha. And this same thing with me also. Will you demonstrate how you paint? Because I know that it's quite exciting for you, but um, I really want to show my audience or my viewers uh, that uh, how it is. I mean, how the color and the like, um, like all this color that you're going to choose, how that is going to make this beautiful. Um, I mean, it is going to take out that artistic mind of yours. I mean, show something, maybe uh, something simple for my viewers. Thank you, Ragni. I love to show how I paint.
A lot of a uh, lot of us, uh, we are trying a lot of things online and in YouTube channels. So, what's for you? Is there anything new that you are planning? Yes, Rami. I would like to keep growing as an artist, to learn new skills, and try new medium. I also want to maintain a balance by getting out into the world and mingle with other artists. Currently, I'm working on my new designs for my new collections, which most probably you just want to see on my next exhibition. As I also mentioned in earlier, that I have started my YouTube channel and online art tutorial during this pandemic. So I would definitely want to start my art institution where I can share my skill with others. This part is actually very special and very favorite of mine because I want to ask you about your hobbies. Um, I do believe that um, you look wonderful and I do believe that you love gardening, isn't it? Thank you, Ravi, for asking this question. Other than painting, I enjoy spending my time in gardening and listening to music. It's not only fun and engaging, but it also gives me a time to spend with my family in a very creative way. Other than that, when I'm not doing any painting and household items, I love and I love to go to the beaches and gazing the ocean and sky the endless time. I want you to talk to my viewers, but before that, I want um, to ask you a quick favor. That is that for the aspiring artists who love uh, painting and who love uh, their own creation and creativity, what will be your thoughts and words towards them? To all the aspiring and budding artists, I would like to say, don't be afraid to project your gift and talent out in this world. You know, life is full of obstacles and we don't have to scare from them. We just need to keep going and be certain that we will achieve what we really want to achieve. And also, you know, I, I want to say there is no specific age to pursue your passion. And you know, this I re really learned from my own experience and from a student who recently enrolled to my art classes and he is 70 and he just love art, he just want to learn. So that's why I'm saying there is no specific age for anything. Just do it when you really want to do it. Nitu, this is uh, a question uh, that is coming in my mind as you are describing so many things. That um, when you do paintings, I know that as a musician, there are lots of challenges when you're on stage. Sometimes maybe the sound is not proper or maybe your microphone is not working or maybe the hands uh, with you, they cannot hear themselves properly. So a lot of things that we try to improvise when we're on stage. So what are the challenges that you face as an artist? Yes, Rami, as an acrylic painter, I do feel some challenges. The first, the acrylic paints drive too fast. You know what happened? It's happened a lot with me. The paint dry on the palette before I had a chance to take that on the canvas. And that's the biggest challenge is you have to be really fast when you're painting. Okay. The second I remember the paint has some, some of the paints has a really poor coverage. And if I, I accidentally purchase a transparent paint, then I need to mix it with the titanium white to enhance the color coverage. You know, uh, some paints uh, appear really translucent on the canvas and it's happened because the paint has more filler than the pigment. And the third challenge which I feel really is that the acrylic paints look dull. And that's happened because the acrylic paints contain water which evaporate as they dry. You know, thinning the acrylic paint with water also make them look dull because they wash away too much shiny acrylic blinder and leave the surface more bumpy. I, I really highly recommend to use the glossy medium instead to thin the color for the transparent effect in the painting. All the art forms, they have something um, 
easy and something hard, you know, uh, for the beginners or uh, something like not for the beginners who are already in this field for so long, they can try something um, different and hard, harder than the beginners. How can you describe abstract painting? Is it quite easy or hard? Or if it is not easy, why it is not? And uh, I would love to hear it from you. The shortest painting? It's generally the abstract, which does not take too much time to finish. As you see here, these are the abstract painting. You just have, a, you just need to be an idea. Just you want to put the colors on the canvas, and it come out very nicely, and it's going to be really, really quick. And if you, if, okay. and you ask me the longest, this is the oil painting I made, and as. This is the longest painting. It just took me a more than a two months to make it because it's gonna be in the layers. It's a layer of 15 or 20s and it's over and over. To create the beauty of this, you need to be really patient and it's gonna be a really big process. And after this, I wanna show you one more painting. If you look at this Buddha, it's come out so beautifully. This is the acrylic painting, which take the most time in my studio. And it's just like a couple of days. It's an ongoing process. You have to be really patient if you want to create the beauty but you are in your mind and you want to put that on the canvas. You have to be really patient. And this is the, one of the masterpieces I really love. All right, Nidu, it was fantastic meeting you and it was fantastic listening to your whole story. And thank you, my friends, for being there always, all the time with us. Next Monday, I am coming back with a musician from Mumbai who is um, in the industry quite a long time and he's a composer as well. But rather than that, he's a fantastic dancer. Do you want to meet him or not? Yes, of course. Next Monday, do not miss the Talent Hunt special episode, the rock and roll, just for you guys. But till then, be safe, stay well, and stay happy and uh, funny with your family. And stay, stay, stay healthy, please, all right? Make sure that you are going out, covering your face, using the sanitizer, whatever, the health regime that you are following. Please do follow that and uh, be happy. And I'll see you next Monday. Trust me, it's my promise. Take care and good night. Bye. I wish... All the viewers of Manan TV International, a wonderful life and to stay healthy. At this point, I'm remembering a very popular slogan by Swami Vivekanand, which always inspired me and a lot more people around in the world. Arise, awake, and stop not till the goal. And I really, really want to thank Ragni and the complete team of Manan TV International for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Thank you.